Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. We are out here at SeaWorld Orlando for the Howl of Scream Halloween event. They've got multiple haunted houses, multiple scare zones, really cool stuff going on out here. Some of the roller coasters are running. And this is opening night. So we're going to give you kind of an overview of what's happening here for overnight. A peek into the houses, peek into the scare zones, and then continue to watch this channel through the Halloween season as we're going to bring you more detailed videos and looks inside those haunted houses and scare zones. So come take a look at opening night at SeaWorld Orlando's Hallow Scream event. Hallow Scream is back again for 2024 at SeaWorld Orlando. And this is a fairly new event. It's only been around a few years in Orlando, but it gets better and better every year, as you can see by this enormous crowd that is lined up for one of the haunted houses. Now this year there are five haunted houses, seven scare zones, two shows, and lots of pop-up booths with specialty foods and drinks. And we're gonna show you a little bit of all of them. So buckle up, because we're gonna jump right in with that first scare zone that you're gonna come to as you enter the park. This is Seeds of the Coven. And there are swamp witches everywhere. And that's witches with a W. Yeah, unless you thought I said a different word. Uh, and these witches have a lot of energy. They are wandering around like crazy. They are coming out of the fog at different places. And it is a whole lot of fun. Watch this channel for a longer video that focuses on this scare zone more. Now, as we go through the tunnel and travel across the bridge, we come to the Ultimate Gamble Haunted House. This is a brand new one this year. Again, watch for another video coming up on this channel where you're gonna see this haunted house from multiple angles where we've got like four different cameras going so you can see what's going on inside this house. But for now, uh, take a look at this. This actress right here is amazing. And uh, this is probably my favorite haunt this year. It's it's uh, it, Like I said, it's a new one this year, and it is a casino-themed, twisted casino-themed th uh, haunt. And uh, it is so much fun. It is so much fun. And the actors in there are having a blast. The sets are very, very cool. It's... Uh, you know, got everything from, from, you know, a full casino and bar to these sort of black light rooms and just various characters of all types in there. You never know what you're going to come across when you come in there. Um, but it is truly amazing. We had to go through this one a few times, actually. And uh, look at these broken hearts. And there's someone with a broken heart. Aww. And speaking of broken hearts... There's a wedding chapel also, and you never know who's going to move inside that wedding chapel, including the creepy bride right there. So uh, that's kind of a look at that haunt this year. Um, moving back out to another scare zone. This is one they had last year, but they moved it up front this year. And uh, this is the Bloodlight District, and it is what it hints at being. It's a red light district. Uh, an alley where you have men and women kind of selling their wares, if you if you would. Uh, their wares being their body uh, in exchange for your blood. And uh, again, this was a, a, a lot of fun this year. Um, this is a much better location, I think, for this um, this alley than it was last year in the back of the park. There, there's a little more room. Uh, there's a little bit more that the actors can do with it there. Um, it, it's not quite as cramped. Before, it was was very, very cramped, shoulder to shoulder. But, uh, but this Bloodlight District is uh, so much fun. One of my favorite scare zones. Now, just to take a quick break from the, the scares for a second, I want to point out that they do have this Sinister Eats card this year, and you can uh, get a souvenir mug with a 20-ounce alcoholic beverage in it that you can fill up for, uh, for less than what you would normally buy a new one for all night long. And, uh, and that's some yummy stuff right there. That's a, a sour apple drink. And also on the card comes six punches for food at the various kiosks. And you can get like these snacky foods like this, this uh, spicy bacon uh, cheese fries and these nachos here that have um, 
that flaming hot cheetos on it so you might want to check out getting one of those cards as an uh, you know as uh, so you can snack in between in between haunts here's another brand new haunt this year farm 51 and this is themed like uh an alien invasion basically uh it's a farm that this spaceship has crashed on and not only are you dealing with aliens you're dealing with a lot of crazy sort of farmer hillbilly types uh that have been driven a little insane by by the aliens and i don't know maybe what radiation that their ship is giving off and uh, again super fun haunt super super fun uh you go in the barn here and there was an actor in this barn that had one of my favorite lines of the night <laughs> which was nothing's gonna jump out at you i'm just here to distract you <laughs> You gotta love honesty in a haunt, because he was there to distract us while someone jumped out at us. Uh, it's a fantastic haunt. This is a great one. You're gonna like it. Oh, alien, alien abduction. Alien abduction, right there. All right, there's a peek at that one. Now, one of them, uh, Paradise Palms, is a, is a new scare zone. And I was really looking forward to this one, but it's really kind of a letdown. The theme is this old, rundown, junky motel. And there's not any monsters or anything. There's just like some drunk people hanging out at the rooms, <laughs> harassing people. And and that's kind of all it is. It's just, you know, some people hanging outside the these hotel doors drinking and being rude. I can go in downtown Orlando and see that for real any night of the week. <laughs> uh, you know, or International Drive even. What the heck? Uh, so that one was kind of a letdown this year. Um watch uh, again watch for future videos on the channel where we'll go a little bit more in depth into it um now another scare zone that uh that was repeated uh this year this one's been around here for a couple of years and it fits in perfectly with sea world it is this terrors of the deep and it's creepy pirates and like barnacle covered uh people and sea monsters and things like that very very nautical themed and the lighting here and the use of fog and everything uh, really sets a tone and atmosphere. Uh, this guy coming up here, when you see the, a future video where we focus on it more, he's incredible. Now, Delirium 666 is a haunted house back again this year that was uh, around last year. But they have made some changes to it. There's some different stuff to see. It's, um, it's even made a, a little bit larger. And basically the theme here is you're escorted by these soldiers into this giant elevator that takes you into the depths of this uh, this lab. And an emergency happens. They've got to evacuate you quickly. And as you evacuate, you go through the labs and see that these doctors are experimenting on fish people and just doing weird things that they don't want you to know about. And they keep trying to usher you out. You see there's monsters in cages that uh, want nothing more to escape. And some of them do escape. Uh, like this guy right here who comes on out. And uh, there's another guy right over here. <laughs> and uh, you'll see they keep them in these tubes. And even some of these tubes you see they have escaped out of. Um, this, this was a lot of fun last year. And it's even more fun this year as they've expanded it and added new things to it and more fun um the actors in here full of energy lots and lots of energy lots of shouting lots of noise um just just a ton of fun um all right so let's take another quick little break from the haunts again to mention that they do have uh, two shows out there this year and they're the same shows that have been out there every year there's the sirens dance show which is very cool and the monster stomp show if you haven't seen them, definitely see them, especially Monster Stomp. It's wonderful. They also have various entertainment in the bars. They have a lot of specialty bars set up, and they've got singers and dancers and comedians. Uh, they were doing some improv at this bar. So definitely check out some of the entertainment while you're there. It's a lot of fun. And, yes, there are roller coasters operating that you can ride while you're there as well. All right, back to the haunting. Now... Here's another new scare zone this year. It's Cannibal Harbor, and it's exactly what it says it is. It's cannibals at the harbor, and <laughs> there's lots of blood. This is a very uh, very small 
scare zone. Not very long at all. But it's a lot of fun uh, as the cannibals walk around with the body parts and try and collect more body parts from you, trying to, to make bargains and deals as to what parts of your body you may you may give them uh, that they can they can fix up for dinner. And uh, uh, this this group of actors is, is having fun here as well. Um, like I said, they don't have a lot of room to work in. It's very short, very small scare zone. But it's uh, it's a wonderful a wonderful one, and and hopefully maybe they'll expand it next year to a larger area. Um, all right, so let's hop over now to another brand new haunt this year called Water's Edge Wellness Center. Another one of my favorites. Um, this one was just creepy and odd and weird in every way. You're greeted by this this wonderful receptionist that's full of energy, but it does not take long for you to just be thrown into the madness at this wellness center and uh, the creepy people that live there that are uh, insane for for some reason we don't know what's going on but you go through the the doctor's labs and the patient rooms and solitary confinement here for the for the bad patients that are are caged up in there trying to get out and some of them are painted black and white like this in black and white rooms and it looks like you're inside a black and white movie it's amazing i love this i love these black and white portions i love in this haunted house it's fantastic and uh, you never know where people are going to pop out either they've got some great actors in here as well just full of energy having a good time there's a nurse ratchet right there <laughs> um you eventually make your way into the morgue uh where they've been storing the dead bodies and then uh, you're ushered out quickly by a policeman because something is happening to these patients and you can read all about it on the walls and the newspaper articles and things like that so very very cool so moving back into another scare zone this is toxic turmoil this one was here last year as well and um not as well executed this year. Um, there's not a lot in it. There's not a lot of actors. Um, there's not a lot of mutants. There are mainly these uh, these workers that have their toxic barrels, and uh, the barrels are you know full of goo, I guess. And uh, one of my favorite things last year was was a guy walking around that would spray you with with the goo, which I thought was hilarious. Now, now there's a monster right there, um, but. It is pretty atmospheric with uh, with the green light, and especially when they get the fog turned on, and uh, and you've got this. It's very very dark though, so it's definitely hard to see while you're in there, especially while the fog is thick. Um, it does provide a lot of cover for the actors to hide in. Um, so there are very few actors, but there are lots of places for <laughs> them to hide. Um, so this one uh, again, you know, maybe if they beef it up with some more actors, put a few more things out there happening. Uh, this one could be probably good again, like last year. It's it's still still a pretty neat scare zone. Um, it's a longer one, and uh, and I like the atmosphere with the with the green light and the fog. Um, my sav uh, favorite my favorite set piece is uh, is again there this year at least though. I was hoping that they would have this old shack that they had last year. And they do have this old shack, which I'll show you here in just a second. Um, and it seems to be where these workers and things are drawn to, to vomit. Uh, it's uh, it's the vomitorium, maybe. This is it right here, this little shack. And, and you're probably looking at it going, why is it your favorite set piece? I don't know. I just like it. I think it's cool. It's creepy. Um, I like the lights the, shining out the windows, the vines growing all over it, the caution tape, and uh, it's just a just a pretty cool little little set piece right there. All right, so we have one last haunted house and one last scare zone to look at. So let's go to the haunted house. This is Atlantis Journey Below. It is another new haunted house out there this year, and this is probably my least favorite haunt of the year. Um, it starts out okay and promising. You kind of go in here and and you you really get this sort of Atlantis aquatic type feel with the lighting and the colors, and you know you sort of make your way into this um, this I guess castle um, or living quarters in in Atlantis. But after you get past this initial kind of wow castle thing with all the cool lighting. 
you're just sort of put into the darkness. And this is the darkest haunt of all. Um, every now and then you'll see a little bit of light like this where you can see what's going on. But you miss almost everything because it looks like this. It's just dark with some red light here and there, maybe a white light. But you will come across a room now and then that they do have the lights on so that you can see some of the props. And uh, there's uh, you know some static props of sea monsters here. There's also this, what I call the kryptonite hallway. <laughs> um, it just looks like rocks of kryptonite hanging from the ceiling uh, and, uh, and sticking out of the, the walls. And um, every now and then there will be a boo like that or uh, somebody just creepy hanging out in the dark um, doing odd things. Um, so yeah, not the, not the greatest one. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, the big show at the end here is, is, uh, is with this little Atlantean. Uh, so there you go. All right. So moving on to the last scare zone. Um, this is a fun one. This is another repeat from last year. It's the Carn Evil Pier. And if you don't like clowns, you don't want to go to the Carn Evil Pier. Because uh, you're going to start your journey entering through the clown mouth. <laughs> and um, this is probably the scare zone that has the most interactivity with the actors. Um, you go in here and you've got, you've got carnies and clowns and magicians and mimes and just a bunch of creepy, crazy characters. And um, again, watch for a video in the future on this channel where we'll go more in-depth in the scare zone and actually show you. Um, we'll play the audio so you can hear what they're saying and, and the show. They, give us a, they, they gave me a whole show, actually, a little magic show and uh, making a mime talk and stuff like that. But uh, these actors are having a ball. And they are not afraid to get you engaged and doing stuff and, uh, you know, doing magic tricks with them and, and silly pranks. Um, it's, a, it's a blast. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how they, how they keep up the energy. I'm, I'm old and they're not. So, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but Carnival Pier is, uh, it's, it, it's a good, it's probably, I don't know. It, last year, it, 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 was, it seemed a little weak to me. But uh, but this year, definitely improved and tons of fun. One of my favorite scare zones. So there you go. Now you've seen all the haunted houses and all the scare zones at Hallow Scream this year. Make sure while you're out there to stop by the Shop of Horrors, which is a themed merchandise shop. It's made like the like some sort of swamp coven type area, um, and it's got merchandise for uh, for the show out there this year all the shirts and cups and blankets and jackets and things like that that have the the hollow scream logo on it and uh lots of cool pictures and the names of the haunted houses and scare zones lots of fun collectibles um and, and there's some really cool stuff there so uh so there you go now you've seen all the scare zones and haunted houses and fun that there is at hollow scream orlando at sea world 2024 there you go. That is a look at the fun out here at SeaWorld Orlando's Hollow Scream event. All kinds of cool stuff going on. Make sure that you continue to watch this channel for future videos that will focus more and more uh, in the details of each haunt and each scare zone. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.